This is Jason with MaxAmps.com and this is your how-to video on how to charge, discharge, and cycle a nickel metal pack with the Hyperion EOS 720i AC-DC charger. To start out with, uh, the first thing you want to do is take your pack. Here we've got an 8-cell MaxAmps 5000 nickel metal hump pack. Uh, and hook it to the charger. Plug in your charge lead first off, red to red, black to black. And connect your battery in. First thing you're going to want to do is with the charger, if you haven't set up any memory positions, you can go to memory position number one, uh, memory position number two, wherever you're comfortable. In this case, we're going to be on memory position number two. You hit the enter button, that starts to flash. You can move memory positions up and down buttons, pretty simple. Uh, once that's done flashing, then you can go down with the down button. Go to uh, your battery type. You want to select nickel metal, NIMH, so if you're not there, Simply hit enter, get that flashing, use the up and down arrows to get it to the correct battery type. We want nickel metal hydride. All right, the next step then, press down again. We need to set the pack voltage or the cell count. In this case, we have an eight cell nickel metal 5000. It's not there, or if you're dealing with say a six cell pack, simply hit the enter button, use the arrows, get to the, you know, the correct cell count and pack voltage. Once that's done, next thing you want to set is your capacity. Hit the enter button, use your arrow to get you there. We're using a 5,000 milliamp pack, so we are set at 5,000 right now. Uh, next step is set your charge rate. 1C standard charge rate, 5 amps, 5,000 milliamp pack. If you had a 4,000 milliamp pack, it's going to be 4 amps. If you had a 3,000 milliamp pack, it's going to be a 3 amp charge rate. Once that's set, go down again. You're going to come to your peak millivolts and this is by default set at five millivolts per cell, leave it. Don't make any changes there, you don't have to, not necessary. Go to the next one and you're coming to your trickle charge. We're not gonna be dealing with trickle charging, we're gonna charge this thing straight up and out. No trickle charging necessary, leave it at zero. Move to the next position, this is your peak delay. It's factory set, defaulted at three minutes, leave it, don't mess with it. Go to the next one, this is your temperature cutoff. Generally, you don't want to ever see a nickel metal pack get any higher than 130 degrees. Uh, 140 degrees is going to start damaging cells, they're going to start venting on you. So if you are using the add-on temp sensor, set the temp cutoff at 130 degrees for this pack, or for any nickel metal pack for that matter. Uh, once you've got that set, the next thing then is your charge time. Um, the safety timer, generally, I go a little bit longer, 90 minutes. This pack, when it's empty or any nickel metal pack, the 1C charge rate should take about 60 minutes to top off. So I usually set the timer for the safety feature at 90 minutes, gives you a little bit more just in case it doesn't finish off easy enough. Next thing you wanna do is set your charge capacity. Uh, put it at 100%. You wanna charge the pack at 100% all the time. Once you've got that set, Go on to your discharge rate. It's again set at five amps right out of the box. Leave it there, don't mess with it. You shouldn't have to do any more than that. Next thing is your cutoff voltage. If you do do a discharge, nickel metal cells cannot go below anything lower than 0.8 volts per cell. If you do take a cell down below 0.8 volts per cell, you're gonna wreck the cell. You're gonna have a pack that's gonna be junk. So never let your nickel metal packs get that low. Set your cutoff to 0.8, and you're pretty much good to go at that point. Next thing you're going to want to do is press and hold your enter button to start the charge process. Press and hold it, you're going to come up with the screen that's going to say charge start, and it's going to say normal on it, normal under that. We're doing just a regular charge, so that's all we want to see. Press and hold enter again, it's going to do the battery check, chimes off again, and starts the charge. When the battery's done charging, the charger's going to sound off another tone, Another alarm basically at that point, press and hold enter, that's going to shut it off, you're done. That's how you charge a nickel metal pack with the 720i ACDC charger. Now we're going to show you how to discharge the same pack. Pretty simple. You've got the charger all set up, ready to go, you haven't made any changes in the settings, so what you're going to want to do is press and hold the enter button again, you're starting the charge process now. At this point you see charge start normal. Use your down arrow, and that's going to change it to discharge start normal. Good to go. Press and hold enter. Does the battery check. Chimes off again. 
Now you're discharging. Now when the pack reaches its discharge voltage, which is gonna be 0.8 volts per cell, it's gonna sound off its alarm again. At that point, press and hold enter, and you shut the charger off. That's how you discharge a nickel metal pack with the Hyperion 720i AC-DC charger. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with it, we're going to show you how to care for your nickel metal packs. Uh, this involves using the cycle feature on the charger. Cycling simply means that you're going to do a charge, discharge, and then back to charge. That's one complete cycle on the pack. Uh, what this does is erases memory buildup. Uh, nickel metal packs, if they've only been discharged like halfway or three quarters of the way, and they keep getting used that way, they're gonna develop a memory and only allow you to ever discharge that far. Cycling two or three times after, say, every six or seven uses of the battery pack is going to erase that memory, make your battery packs run longer and last longer. So what we're gonna do is go back to the charger. We're still set up on, on this 5,000 milliamp eight cell pack. So what we wanna do is press and hold enter again, and you're gonna see we left off at discharge, now press you down, and it's going to say cycle start. Then you're going to see C with an arrow pointing to the D. What this means is if you hit enter right now, it's going to start flashing. We can change whether it charges first and then discharges, or discharges first and then charges. Uh, in our case, we're dealing with a battery that's fully charged, so what we're going to want to do, and this is kind of a good rule of thumb, is top it off. So start with charge, then let it discharge. Top the pack off and then it's going to want to discharge it. The next setting on there, after you've got that, is going to be, it says on the screen, 1T. Uh, what that means is the times you want it to cycle, how many times you want it to do a cycle. In our case, uh, a good memory racing cycle is usually two to three. So press enter, get that 1T to flash, move the arrows up and down, set it to two or three cycles. So basically what it's going to do is charge and discharge the pack two or three times, how many ever times you set it to do it. Um, the next setting after that is, it says flashing right now 10 minutes. That's your cool down period between those cycles. Uh, generally, a rule of thumb, it depends on what your ambient air temp is. If your pack is coming off warm or hot after the charge and discharge cycle, Set that timer up to like 20 minutes or you know, let the pack cool down, let it rest before it does it again. So you can take, press enter, get that flashing, you can bump that up. I'm just gonna rough set it at 15 minutes, cool down between cycles right now. Press enter, it's done flashing. So now we're set to go, we're ready to start the cycle process basically. So what we'll do, press and hold enter, it's gonna do its battery check like normal. And now it's starting the cycle process. It's going to start by charging the pack. Once the pack is full, it should sound off a little bit of a tone. Then it's going to go into automatic discharge mode. It's going to take it all the way down to 0.8 volts per cell. You're done with that cycle. It's going to let the pack sit for 15 minutes and cool. And then it's going to automatically start back up again. Now once this is all done, I'm just going to press and hold enter and shut this off. Once all those cycles are done, the last thing you want to make sure you do is charge the pack up fully, completely, and you're good to go. You can then put it on the shelf and leave it sit ready for its next use. This has been how to charge, discharge, and cycle a nickel metal pack with your Hyperion EOS 720i AC-DC charger. For more information on this charger and other chargers that Hyperion sells, visit maxamps.com.